What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. It's officially soup season. I've got two high protein, lower calorie soups for you guys. First things first, we have the chicken tortellini soup and the second recipe is gonna be the, was it like lasagna soup? Yeah, kind of like viral lasagna soup. We got Katie behind the camera. I'll go over all the ingredients. Also, I'll put them on the screen somewhere over here, the entire list as well as the exact amounts, but we'll run through things. So first thing, we've got chicken broth. We're gonna be using one entire container, which is 32 ounces. We have one block of reduced fat Philadelphia cream cheese, that guy right there. We've got half a diced onion, just because my dad doesn't love onions. So if you wanna have a full white onion, go for it. If you want no onion, don't add any onion. We have two pounds of chicken breast. Same thing here, you wanna use one pound, you wanna use two and a half pounds, you can kind of adjust it, but two pounds is what I'm going with. We have two of these cans, hopefully you guys can see that, of diced tomatoes. Kroger brand, we're once again on a budget. We've got a big thing of tortellini. This is a big family size. I think this thing comes out to be, let's see, 20 ounces. So if you did want a little bit lower calorie, even then, once again, it's like 500 calories serving. If you want lower calorie, you can just reduce the amount of tortellini. And we have some toppings. So this is not a part of the actual macros because these are optional. But we're gonna add in a little bit of spinach to sneak in some veggies, a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. So those are kind of separate additions. And our seasonings, we're going with onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning. We're gonna go with a teaspoon of each. Very, very simple. We're just using the crock pot right here. So we're gonna take our chicken breast, which Katie nice enough trimmed for us, <laughs> and put those just in the bottom of the crock pot. These are three beefy, beefy chicken breasts. But once again, that's two pounds of chicken. We'll go ahead and add, actually, let's do the seasonings first. We'll go in with our onion powder. Once again, one tablespoon, or sorry, teaspoon. I'm kind of measuring at the heart because I don't want to have you guys watch me take out a actual teaspoon and measure everything out exactly. An Italian seasoning. Boom. Then we'll go ahead in with our onion. Boom. And we're going to be mixing all this up, so it doesn't really matter too, too much the order you put things in. Um, we'll go with the chicken broth next. And once again, all the recipes I give you guys, I try to keep it as simple as possible and also make sure you use all the ingredients so you don't have a bunch of leftover. Some recipes you could use, maybe like just two cups of chicken broth, but once again, we want it a soup. We don't want it just like chicken and tortellini. So use that entire thing right there. Boom. Got this guy, we're gonna add our tomato. Diced tomatoes, one can, two cans, and then we need our block of cream cheese. Hope I can get this out without making a right mess. Right now? Yeah. Interesting. So it kind of cooks in with everything. Boom. That's it, the soup's done. Yeah, literally. So no. <laughs> now this is gonna be, I'm gonna mix it up real quick. I don't have a spoon with me, but I will be mixing this up. And you can set it on a high for probably about three to four hours. This thing does get pretty warm pretty quick. So for us, it'll probably only take three hours, but if your crock pot might be older or newer, three to four hours on high, or I would say six to seven hours on low. And then once again, we're basically gonna come back. So we're going to the Festival of Lights tonight, actually a little bit of a Christmas date. So we're gonna leave this, go do that, and come back and we'll film the second half. We're basically gonna take out the chicken, we're gonna shred it up, add our tortellini, as well as our toppings. But yeah, that is, what was that? Maybe two minutes of prep time. Um, and then we'll go ahead and leave this on high for about three hours. We'll come back and we'll see you guys when we shred the chicken. I heard you. Is it soup season? Say, is it soup season? We're now back from the Festival Lights and the crock pot. Once again, why I love crock pot meals. It took us about, what, five minutes to put this together. We come back to a cooked dinner. So we're gonna have this. We just shred up the chicken. As you can see, we pulled the chicken out. Shred it however you want. If you wanna use a hand mixer, you can, or just use two forks. So we're gonna add that back in. Oh, that's, I feel like this is gonna spill everywhere. It probably will. Oh, there we go. Okay, not as bad. All right, so add that back in, all that chicken. Every last bit. So we got nice protein in there. I'm gonna put this in the sink. So next we're gonna add our tortellini. So we got our family pack of cheese tortellini. Honestly, you can use whatever tortellini you want. I feel like if you wanna go, what, what other tortellinis do they make? Uh, mm. Meat, three cheese, two cheese, one I don't cheese. Know. Look, Lobster. look at Maisie. You can see Maisie. <laughs> look at Maisie. She thinks something's going on. But not right now. So we got all of our tortellini in there. Oh my gosh, that's oh. okay. Almost spilled. Boom. 
Also, we're gonna now turn this down. So this was on a high for about four hours. So we're gonna turn that to low. And now we're gonna make sure we get all the tortellini in there. And the tortellini is already cooked. We just need to warm it up essentially. So we're probably gonna leave this on, I would say probably 20 to 30 minutes. Just make sure everything's More? well. More? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you gotta cook the tortellini. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's say 15 to 30 minutes. I don't know, something in that, in that range. I was range. thinking like five. No, it's gonna take more than five minutes. I would say, yeah, I would say at least probably 20 is my guess, but we'll find out shortly. And then the spinach, I actually counted for in the macros. Um, we're gonna do two cups of spinach. I don't even know how much this entire thing is. But, um, let's see. Net weight, six ounces. I don't know, we're gonna do two handfuls. Let's go with that. I mean, spinach is basically zero calories. So we're gonna go one. Dude, that's actually a lot of spinach, but I know we'll cook down. And as I mentioned, the Parmesan cheese is for toppings, so I'm not gonna include that in the macros, it's just something gonna add on top. But for this entire crock pot right here, the macros are 3,190 calories, 286 grams of carbs, 108 grams of fat, and then 275 grams of protein. That's exactly the macros for all the ingredients I put up on the initial screen. Um, once again, the chicken, Philadelphia cream cheese, chicken stock, tortellini, tomato, seasoning, spinach, um, all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna say six servings is what I'm gonna do since about 3,000 calories when about 500 calories a serving. So one six, let me pull that up real quick. Yep, so one six or what I'm gonna call one serving is 533 calories, 48 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat, and 46 grams of protein. So a great 500 calorie meal packed with protein. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of let this finish cooking, let this simmer, and I'll show you guys the final product and a little bit of a taste test. All right, I'm still, once again, coming off of prep, so I will say my, I would say my taste buds aren't exactly true, because I think everything tastes good, so we got Katie here to give you guys an honest taste test. Let's see, so we got tortellini, chicken, all the goods with a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. You need a bite with like everything. It's perfect. A little bit of spinach, tomato, tortellini. Use my hand. All right, I have to open up my jaw. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably still hot, isn't it? Mm. Not too hot. Good. We got you. Mhm. Mm also, we're watching Home Alone. Soup season. It's really good. I just started choking on the spinach. <laughs> <laughs> it's good mm -hmm. overall. I'll say the broth actually looks really good. It looks nice and creamy. I think the cream cheese paid off. I'm gonna eat this whole thing real fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is recipe number one of the video, the chicken tortellini soup. Stay tuned for the, uh, what, what do I call it? Lasagna soup? Yeah, stay tuned for that one. It's time for recipe number two of the video, lasagna soup. A couple alterations you could make. If you wanna use ground beef instead of ground turkey, feel free. Also, we have half of a yellow onion chopped up. You could use a full yellow onion, but my dad, it doesn't sit well on his stomach, so we're gonna cut the onions down a little bit, and then Katie doesn't like ground beef, so we're going with ground turkey. So a few small alterations you could make, but everything for this recipe is pretty much gonna be the same. So we're gonna start with our diced onion as well as a little bit of minced garlic. We're gonna go ahead and brown that in the pan with a little bit of olive oil spray. Then we'll go ahead and add the ground beef. We're gonna blend up some cottage cheese. We've got our seasonings here. I will throw everything, all the ingredients, and the amounts on the screen here so you guys can see. We have our tortilla strips. We have some chicken broth. Then we also have our basically red sauce of choice. This is Prego three cheese. You guys can see that right there. Any marinara sauce works, as well as a little bit of tomato paste right there. But yeah, first thing we're gonna do, we can go over and go ahead and spray this actually. Spray our pot. So this, we have a big old pot over medium heat. Give that a little bit of a spray with some olive oil. I should probably turn the fan on. There we go. Should then probably we're... turn down the heat so we don't burn the onions. Well true, we're just gonna get them a little translucent and then we'll add the meat. So go ahead, add our onions in. And we need about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Add that in there. I'm gonna give this a quick mix, and then just basically cook onions until they're, I would say, translucent um, or basically your preference. 
So give these about, I don't know, two to three minutes and we'll go ahead and add in our ground turkey. And once our onions are cooked, we'll go ahead and add our ground turkey. So we got two pounds right here. Boom, one and two in there. And we'll add our seasonings. So we're gonna go with some salt, pepper, oregano, as well as some Italian seasoning. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on the salt and pepper just because we're gonna add more of that later on. A little bit heavier on the oregano Italian seasoning. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and let that meat brown. Get it pretty much, I would say, about 90% cooked through because we are gonna cook it a little bit when we actually add the noodles. But let's go ahead, brown this up, then we'll add our tomato paste as well as our blended cottage cheese. Now that our beef is about 90% done, we're gonna add our tomato paste. So we're gonna do about 35 grams, 24, 42, uh oh. 39, screw it. Tomato paste really doesn't have any calories in it. Oh no. In there. There we go. Go ahead, set that aside. Mix this in real quick. And then as far as the cottage cheese goes, so I just went ahead and threw this in a small, this is, I mean it's a ninja, but any sort of small blender to get nice and smooth. If you do need to add a little bit of moisture to help it mix, I honestly would probably just use like a chicken broth or maybe a little bit of water, but um, this one is small enough where it actually blended up really well, so we're gonna add that in. This kind of be like a little bit of like our creamer, so I would say um, most of the time you can use some sort of like heavy cream, not creamer, heavy cream, but we wanna go a little bit higher protein, a little bit lower calorie, so we're gonna use blended cottage cheese, and honestly, it doesn't really taste like cottage cheese when you make it, just more so higher protein, increase the creaminess a little bit, so we'll go ahead and mix that all in. And then give that a quick mix, let that get well combined, and then we'll add in our chicken broth and our tomato sauce. Now I've got everything well combined, we'll go ahead and turn that down to probably medium low as we add everything else in. Because at this point, we need to add in our chicken broth. And this is really the option of how soupy you want it. You can use the entire container if you want it very kind of liquidy and very soupy. I think I like mine a little bit on the thicker side, so we're gonna measure out 20 ounces instead of the full 32. So zero that. I think 20 will probably be like three quarters. Let's see what that is. Oh, that's only 12 ounces. We need more than that. Real quick, we'll get back to the lasagna soup here in a second because I forgot to film this clip when I was actually making the soup. In the soup video, I'm rocking the Stealth hoodie from Barbell Apparel as well as the Recon Joggers, and those are my daily wears. I literally live in the Recon Joggers, but also they have some nicer stuff like the Anything Pant and the Henley. Once again, this is a very simple, casual, dressed up. The pants are $50 off right now. They extended their entire basically Black Friday and biggest sale of the year. So things are up to 50% off with their everything pant and jeans, $50 off. So if you're looking to get something for a dad, husband, guy, boyfriend, whatever it is, definitely check out Barbell Apparel, link down in the description. They have a big sale going on right now, so go check it out. And now back to lasagna soup. All right, tw no way, look at this. Dead on 20 ounces. And I'm talking like the cap, oh, I guess, yeah. The cap makes it 0.5. That is kind of, ins oh, come on. And now it stays at 19.95, whatever, regardless. Very, very close. We will have our entire container, which let's see, comes out to be um, 24 ounces or 680 grams of our red sauce. So pour all that in there. Close enough. And then we'll go ahead and give that a quick mix. Just make sure it's all well combined. And the last thing we need to do is add our lasagna strips. So I'm gonna go with eight lasagna strips. So just let me see, there should be some. Eight lasagna strips, or sheets as they call it, which can be four servings or about 200 grams. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can find eight full sheets in here. So two, we'll kind of break these up as we go. I honestly don't really know how like thick these really should be, but so that's two. I'm gonna add eight total. I think I can skip this part. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add all of our pasta in there. I would say let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes just until the pasta gets cooked and everything's well combined. So we're gonna let that simmer 
for, I would say, yeah, 25 to 30 minutes. And about 30 minutes later, the soup is done. It did take a little bit longer, but we put it on a low kind of like, not really a simmer, um, just let it kind of cook. The lasagna noodles are now done. And the entire macros for the entire pot, the, let me go ahead and just read off the ingredients, the ground turkey, the onion, the seasonings, the minced garlic, tomato paste, chicken broth, the cottage cheese, the marinara sauce, and the lasagna noodles comes out to be 2,836 calories, 236 grams of carbs, 81 grams of fat, and then 250 grams of protein. And then I'm gonna divide that into six servings. You could do four, five, or six. I guess if you're bulking, you could do four or five. About six servings, this meal comes out to be per serving, 474 calories, 39 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, and 42 grams of protein. So we have a serving here. I honestly think this is probably a little bit less than a sixth considering how much we have left in the pot, but it's close enough. It's one of those things where if you eat it all throughout the week, you can kind of eyeball it, or you can go ahead and find six different containers, split it up and keep it in the fridge. But yeah, we're gonna dig in. We have a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, not including the macros, but highly recommend, or some ricotta. We don't have any ricotta, so we just want Parmesan cheese. But yeah, that is the lasagna soup. That is the end of the video, so hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Maisie, what do you have to say? Oh, okay. She's oh, not that well, smart. Well, whatever. Peace.